This is the Carmine Caruso six notes. G, G sharp, A, A sharp, B, and C. Below that is he talks about timing and how to subdivide the timing in your head. So I'm going to explain to you about the six notes and talk about the subdivision of the timing. But this might be a good time for you to push pause on the video and write these notes down if you like to have them written down on paper. The six notes. Let's go over the rules of the six notes. The rules of the six notes are as important as the six notes themselves. First we'll talk about the subdivision. So a quarter note, which we usually count one, two, three, four. First thing we're going to divide that into two in our head. So instead of just thinking that one, two, three, four, we're going to be thinking one and two and three and four and. After we get that down and you're comfortable with that, we're going to subdivide it into four. In our head we'll be counting one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a. So instead of one, two, three, four, is one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a rest. Two, three, four E and a one. Okay, so that's enough about the subdivision for now. When I play the six notes, I will demonstrate uh, by tapping. So, so the rules of the six notes now, the rest of the rules are breath attack, tongue, breath attack. First note is a breath attack, not a tongue. Second note is a t light tongue. Third night note is a breath attack with a constant blow. Once we set the mouthpiece, we do not move it. It stays in the same place throughout the whole exercise, which we do play twice. When you need to breathe, you're going to breathe in through your nose, not the corner of your mouth. You're going to breathe in through your nose. This is very important because this keeps everything in the same place. We learn to play the notes without moving the, without moving the trumpet. So <clears throat> the goal of this exercise, besides it being a good warm-up and a strength builder, is that it lays the foundation for you to play the, over the entire range of the trumpet with a minimal amount of movement in your embouchure and a minimal amount of movement in the trumpet. That's the six notes. 
make them part of your everyday daily routine. Here are the two exercises that we are going to do today. The first one and the second one are based off the six notes. Now on the six notes, hopefully you've been doing them. But on these six notes is a variation. Each note will be held 12 beats. This series 12 beats, the G sharp 12 beats, the A 12 beats. Now, we're going to be playing them from soft to loud to soft. Now, you have to think of this. Increasing the airspeed, starting with the number one, which would be the least airspeed, and keep blowing faster, 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 till we get to the six. Then we're going to start decreasing, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, back down decreasing. But the simplest way is, is just to count to twelve. Start with one, six being the loudest, back down to twelve be, being the softest. Now it's very important to think of the airspeed. As you increase the airspeed, you will get louder. When decreasing the airspeed, you will get softer. Now, some of the things that happen when you play this exercise and should happen if you're doing it right, as we get to the top and we're blowing as loud as we can, we'll probably be overblowing and it may not sound very nice. That's okay though, because the whole pur purpose of this is for the is for the overblow to be used for the conditioning of the muscles to adjust to the greater power that your armature needs to get used to. So you're also going to try to stay in tune. Sometimes you go out of tune. It's not really a musical exercise. It's a calisthenic. Okay, now this is the second exercise. Another variation of the six notes. We're going to play this one loud to soft to loud. So in this case, number one will be the loudest, number six will be the softest, and then number 12 gets to be the loudest again. So to start, we're going to blow with, uh, with a real fast airspeed, decrease the airspeed, and then increase the airspeed then back up to 12. The only thing on this one is I want you to play a G, just a regular G on the line first. Set your armature so you're not thinking about overblowing or whatever you're thinking about. You play a normal G and we're going to hold each one 12, 12 beats again. Practice these two lessons once or twice a day for the next three weeks and you will find a big increase in your volume and you'll feel very comfortable controlling your volume level. This is Carmen Caruso's tongue and exercise. He has actually a few tongue and exercises. This is the first one I want to show you, and probably not all important, but this we're gonna gonna do single tongue in to start with. And then later on down the road we'll add some other double tongue and triple tongue and exercises. So you play just, just the way you see it. Play four beats, four beats, two beats, two beats, two beats, two beats. Then you play single beats. And then we play it in eighth notes, and we play it in sixteenth notes. So, also on this one, you, you, when you once you put the mouthpiece on, you're going to try to do the whole exercise without taking it off. I'm going to breathe in through the nose. Now you might find yourself getting tired because the muscle is the tongue is a muscle, and uh, the tongue does get tired. So it might take a while to build up to that. So you can take it off, rest a little bit, and then continue where you left off. Left off. So again, on this one, let's play this one together so you get the idea on how to play this one. Okay, let's just do the G for now. One, two, three.
Okay, and now I held out the last G. You can hold it out or not hold it out. Then we go on to the G, G sharp, the A, A flat, the B, and the C. So make sure you do each one. And uh, let's do the C for now. Okay, we're going to do the last one, the C. So same pattern. So make sure you do G, G sharp, A, A sharp, B, and C. By the time you're done with them, you'll have a lot of exercise. All right, let's do the C. So do your tongue in the way you like to do it, syllables you like to pr pronounce. Uh, if you want to try a different way, uh, D is one, so it'll be D, 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 or DEET, D-E-T, D, 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 D. Carmen Caruso used to teach the T with an S on the end of it. It was T, 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 T. Uh, it's, it's a lot like spitting. So if you can just picture it or if you can just try getting your tongue in the spit position. So that was how he used to teach it. So do what you're comfortable with. You know, try one of these other ways if you want and see, see what your results are like. This is the second tongue and exercise given by Carmen Caruso. As you see, it's based off the six notes. So we're going to play it and follow the repeats in there. It's very simple. And then uh, after we're done with it, we rest a couple seconds. Then we play the G sharp, rest a couple seconds, play the A to the to the C, just like this you would do the six notes. So just uh tongue it the way you normally tongue it, and this exercise alone will improve your tonguing. Uh, we're gonna do it at a moderate pace, no sense doing it too fast. It's more important to do it good than to do it fast and not get the job done correctly. So uh, we can always increase the pace later on. All right, so let's do this exercise together. All right, when we play this exercise, first we play the G, and it's in the key of G. Then when we finish that series, the next one we're gonna play the A flat, which is written down G sharp, in harmonic, same note. So we're gonna play the next one A flat. Notes are A flat, B flat, C, D flat, and E flat. And then the same thing, we go to the A, everything in the key of A. So uh, keep that in mind if you can't, uh, if you don't have it memorized the keys, then you have to write it down. So whichever one you got to do. And also, uh, just do your tongue in the way you normally do your tongue in. This exercise will improve your tongue in. So let's play it together now. You know, also, let's, let's get a beat in our head about how fast we want to play this. Let's do like 96. Okay, that's about 96. We got that in our head. Okay, so we always count four before we begin our Karma Caruso exercises. So let's play it together. One. Okay, we're gonna rest a couple seconds and then we'll go on to the A flat. Remember you play it in the now in the A flat scale key. One
Okay, we're gonna rest a couple of seconds and we're gonna go to the A, and this is in the key of A, A, B, C sharp, D, E. One. Okay, now let's do C. Remember key C, C, D, E, F, and G. Let's count down. One. That's the tonguing exercise. This exercise is going to help you not only with your tongue, it builds strength in your arm for sure, builds strength in your tongue. This is a good exercise. It's not an easy exercise. So you can need if you need to you rest a little bit in between each note, you know, when you go from the G to the A flat to the B, you can rest for a few seconds or a half a minute, whatever you need. Take your time and do it, you'll improve. Today we're going to talk about triple tongue in. So we did uh, we did some single tongue in, and we went over the six notes in the first lesson. So the the triple tongue in is based off the six notes. That was the system of teaching you double tongue in and triple tongue in. So today let's talk about the triple tongue in based off the six notes. Let me show you what we're going to do. So today we're going to be doing two different exercises for triple tongue in. Whether you're a beginner or advanced, this exercise I think you will like and it will help you no matter what level you're at. So um, if you remember the six notes, it was G, G sharp, A, A sharp, B, and C. If you remember the six notes, if not, you can go back to lesson one and review the six notes. So, um, But by now everybody should be familiar with the six notes. So we're going to do this exercise and we're going to do an exercise out of Clark that he would... Uh, that he would use the Clark book. So just to explain how we're going to be doing this, this is his tongue in, and this and this is from the throat. So it's two, 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 and this is K, 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 K from the throat. So uh, hopefully you're a little bit familiar with triple tongue in, and so you'll be doing after we do the do the uh, quarter notes. Then it'll be eight notes. Two, two, coo, coo, two, two, coo, coo, and repeat it. Now, when you run out of ear, you take your breath. Breathe in through your nose and take and take your breath and continue. Then the next set of, of the off the six notes is two, two, coo, two, two, coo, two, two, coo, two, two, coo. And then we repeat that. And then we go and then we go, we go to full speed, which is Alright, so then we do we rest a little bit and then we do the G sharp, same thing we do, and we do the A, same routine, A sharp, B, and C, and you're done. And then we're gonna do the Clark book. So just let me show you the Clark book. So a Clark book, first study, it's a couple pages. I'll show you that when you know we'll play it together and I'll show you that as we're playing it together. So first let's do the six notes together. We'll do one or two of them and then you'll get the idea. We don't have to go through all of them. You can do it on your own at your own pace. Now it's nice to use a metronome with this. It's not easy with the metronome. You'd be surprised. It gets a little difficult. Uh, we're going to set the metronome at 66 and we can work our way up to 88 eventually. Or if we have to go a little slower than 66, that's okay. But let's start at 66. That's plenty fast to get started with this exercise. We're going to set the metronome on 66 for this exercise. 
All right, so hopefully you can see it's on 66. Let's, get, let's hear how let's hear how that sounds. Okay, let's play let's play the G together and maybe we'll pick one or two more and we'll play that together. So before we play, just want to say there's different ways of pronunciating the triple tonguing. For me, right now, I'm just going to go two, two, coo, two, two, coo, two, two, coo, two, two, coo. If your teacher taught you a different way, that's okay. There's a lot of different ways of doing it. Uh, but in this exercise, it's important to, to blow steady air. We don't want to, you know, I mean, sometimes you do want to separate everything, but for learning purposes, and to get the body doing this right so you don't chop it all up. Uh, we're going to blow steady air uh, throughout this whole exercise. Let's do the G together now. I'm going to give you a little tip. Uh, I don't like to tell you too many instructions when you do this because you start uh, thinking too much. You're not going to get a good practice in. But uh, one thing I do want to tell you, what happens is uh, if you start wherever your, your tongue position is in the front uh, you want to try to keep it there because when you when you do a two two coup when you do the coup a lot of a lot of times what you do is you take your front of your tongue and you move that so you want to keep your your front of your tongue in the same position otherwise you start losing a lot of intonation and you lose the speed of, of uh, what we're trying to work up to well uh, don't think about it too much but it's something to have in the back of your mind Let's do the G. Okay, after you do that, do the G sharp, the A, A sharp, the B, and the C, and then you can move on to, you know, your Clark book. And there's a lot of other things also you can do, a lot of triple tongue and exercises. These are the couple basic ones that, um, that Carmen Crusoe used to start us with. So, good luck with them. This is the first study in the Clark book. Uh, we're we're going to divide this up into triple tongue and one two three one two three one two three one two three two 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 so um it starts on low f sharp but i would like you to actually start on the g which is right which is right here okay same as the six notes you start on like the six notes and when practicing you can do a couple different ways you can do the g and then you can do the g sharp but I also want you to work back down, you know, to the low F sharp. It gets very difficult down, actually, when you start getting down below the C. So uh, some people can do it better than others, but definitely do it because you can only get better at it. So I would do G, G sharp, you know, A, B, C. Then I would, you know, work backwards from the G, F sharp, F to the E, you know, all the way down to the next page, all the way down. So let's uh, do one together. And the way it's going to work is going to be two 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 two. We're going to do the same thing with this. We're going to do it on sixty six. So we're going to do it slow. We're going to do triplets. Where's the G at? Right here. We're going to do two 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 two. We're going to do that, and then we're going to double it up. Do 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 do. All right. So let's uh let's do one together to get the feel. Oh yeah, so let me just uh, tell you one other thing. It's okay to get to get the uh, tempo and, and the uh, feel of this exercise in your head by just learning it first. For example, So 
So another thing I want to tell you is that when you're doing it slower like this, it's actually harder to get it up to full speed. But you need to practice it slower first, of course. Uh, so let me give you an example of um, you know maybe doing it a little faster. And of course, it's going to be up to you, you know, to progress at your own pace. Let's take it up a little faster. I don't have my glasses on. I think I have it up to 80. So you get the uh, the point on that. So after the G, do the G sharp and the A. You can keep it you know right in the range of the six notes if you want uh, up to the C. And it's, if you're doing okay with that, I continue to exercise all the way to the end, then all the way back down to the uh, low F sharp. So those two exercises will do a lot for you in uh, conquering those uh, those triplets. Last week's lesson was on triple tonguing. This week we're going to concentrate on double tonguing. I have three exercises I want to show you. Two of them are based off the Carmen Caruso six notes, and one of them is out of the Clark book. So let me show you to them now. So let's just review how we do the double tonguing on this. So there's a lot of notes on this page, but they're all exactly the same as the first two lines. And they go up, then they go up in half steps. So once you get one down, it's just a matter of, uh, you know, of, of doing the six notes the same way. All right, so <clears throat> what we're going to do is two, 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 and then coo, 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 coo. And then, of course, back and forth, two, coo, two, coo, two, coo, two, coo. Then after that, we do the eighth notes, and we're doing sixteenth notes. Then we're going to hold the last note. Now, after you're done with that exercise, you could rest a minute and then do the next one, or you could continue to the next one right away if you want. Depends on how you're feeling. So now the tempo on these exercises are from 88 to 144. I will start on 88. If you want to start slower, that's fine. That's okay to do that. Uh, so set your, you know, get the metronome in your head if you have one, and you can uh, play, you know, use the metronome. If not, you just keep time in your head. But we're not starting too fast on these. So when you finish, when you finish the first one, like I say, you rest a few, a few seconds or a minute, or go right into the next one. Then you do the A, the A sharp, the B, and the C, and you do them all the same way that you did the, the first exercise. Alright, so let me show you the, the other exercise that we're going to be doing too. This, this is also the Caruso exercise based off the six notes. So it's two, coo, two, coo, two, coo, two, coo. Play that. Then we do eight notes. Two, coo, two, coo, two, coo, two, coo, two, coo, two, coo. We do that to, to there. Then we do the sixteenth notes. It's the same thing we do that. Now, same thing with this. A lot of notes on the page, but really, once you do this one, what we're doing after that is we're doing the six notes, which would be G, G sharp, A, B flat, B, C, except we're doing it in the keys. So that's why it's, it's you know, looking like a lot of notes and a lot of sharps and flats. But for instance, over here, all you're doing is. Uh, is G sharp or if you want to say the A, the A flat key and doing it in the key. Then when we, when we go to the A, we're doing it in the key of A. So that's that's what it's all about. That's that's the reason for, for all the notes. Just where you could follow it, not to think about it too much. Alright, after we do that, we're going to do the Clark book also, and I'll show you that after we do is do these exercises together. So for now. Let's do the first double tongue and exercise together. 
we'll just do the first one. After that, they're all the same. It's up to you to do them when you know as you feel fit to do them. All right, let's do the G together. For the first one, we'll set the metronome on 88. So after, if you have a net metronome and you want to set it and get the beat in your head, that's okay. Or if you want to keep it on, that's uh, that's good too. So right, let's get the beat for now. Set it on 88. Get the beat. Okay. All right. So let's do the G together first. The first and second line. Remember, we're doing it on 88, which is actually a little, little bit harder, actually, because when you do them slower, you can really hear, uh, you know, what you might need to work on. But let's do it on 88, even though I know that you can actually tongue that, single tongue that at that speed. But this is how we practice it at, to get started. Let's do the uh, G together, which is the first two lines. And when we finish it, we'll take it off and rest before we play the next one. And we're doing it on the metronome on 88. Alright, so when we're doing on 88, it's actually like a little slow, so it's kind of kind of actually hard to do it at that speed. But it shows uh, anywhere that you have a problem that you need to work on. So even though you can do them a lot faster than that, do them in the 88 too, because we're trying to get the feel of the of the two cool, the tongue, the whole the whole feel of the, of the whole exercise. Alright, so we don't need to do the rest of the exercises. Uh, you can do them, uh, you know, yourself, and then you speed up the metronome a little at a time as you as you feel fit. And um, until you get to the last exercise. Now you can do one, rest, do, do the next one, rest, do the A, rest, or you can actually do a few together if you want to. Okay, so uh, let me show you the next exercise now. So this next exercise is we have fingering involved, which in the first exercise we didn't. It's just the first exercise was just for practicing the tuku, 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 tuku. This one we're going to have fingering involved. So now you're getting, you know, uh, different various muscles involved. So it starts making it a little bit more difficult. But of course, you need to, 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 to finger this. So this is a good way to, uh, to practice it that way. So we're going to do it again. We're going to do the first and second line, and that's the G. Now after that, it, it, it goes it, it goes to a, that's a G sharp, but the same as in harmonic to A flat. It's the A flat scale, then the A scale, then the B flat scale, the B and the C. So you practice these the same way as you do the first line. So let's just do the first line together now. Let's play the G and set the metronome on 88. When playing that exercise, try to get the two and the ku as smooth as possible and as even as possible. When you're doing it slower, it's actually harder so you can really hear you know, what you're doing. So the more you practice it, the better you get. And one more exercise that I want to show you that we used to do with Carmine Caruso it was out of the Clark book. Let me uh, let's show that to you now. This is the second study in the Clark book, which is the study that we did the double tongue in with. Uh, first we would, we would slur, the, slur the whole book, then we would come back and tongue the whole book, then we came back and we double tongue the whole book. But today we're just talking about double tonguing, so let's concentrate on the second study. Um, these are going to be 16th notes, groups of 16th notes. And we're going to set the metronome start at 88, work up to 144. If the 88 is too fast, that's okay, slow it down, doesn't matter. So, of course, at the slower speeds, you can really hear yourself how you're doing with it. 
All right, so let's um, let's let's do one together. But let's start on the. Let me show you. Let's start on the on the G. It's just like when we're doing the six notes, we'll do the G. Then we'll do the A flat, the A, B flat, B, and the C. And then we can work our way down. So let's do the G together now. Let's play the G. Set the metronome on 88. And again, we're looking at it like 60 notes. practice the studies, the second study in the Clark book, you can set the metronome on 88, you can set it slower, you can slow it first, you can, you can single tongue it first. A lot of times I like to slow it first to get the, uh, the steady ear going. Because if you don't keep the ear going, you can't double and triple, you can't double and triple tongue. So that's important and a lot of people, what happens is they get tongue tied and they stop the ear and they're just chopping everything up. So. If you slur it first, it'll give you the, the idea of the steady flow of ear, and then double tongue it. So, um, you could go a lot faster, you can go slower, it's up to you. But again, you practice them, and then you'll find yourself getting better rather, rather quickly.